Michael. Um, yes, Michael, and I'm responding to the message you left on our phone at the Kingdom Hall. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. My name's my name's Robert. Robert, Robert Skinner. Hello. Hello, Robert. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just... Just stop the video. <laughs> I was about to watch a uh, Gaza. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, right. Um, yes, I've been looking at your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Mm -hmm. um, what I suggest we do is if we just touch base briefly today. Yes, um, yes. Maybe we could talk at more length at a different time. It's best to sort of text me the day before to give me a day's notice i i, I don't re i don't listen to voicemails so i oh, ignore anyway. them but if you text me i know how to text back um sure. i can never speak on a monday or a thursday at any time right okay 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 um well i guess the first thing would be lesson six uh -huh. the summary on page 28 says Jehovah created the universe and all life. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, obviously I'd be crazy to disagree with that because the Bible is very clear that Jehovah is the creator. But, yes. but more than that, the Bible says that Jehovah created all alone and by myself. Um, mm -hmm. At Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24, um, I'm reading from the New King James, but where it says Lord in capitals, I'll read Jehovah. Um, thus says Jehovah, your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb. I am Jehovah who makes all things, who stretches out the heavens all alone, who spreads abroad the earth by myself. So Jehovah creates all alone and by myself. Mm -hmm. But when we go to the New Testament, it's quite emphatic that the Father creates through the Son. Now, there's yeah. a few scriptures I could quote, but Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 we know uh -huh. that God in Hebrews 1.1 1, 1 means the Father because we have reference to his Son, God's sure. Son in verse 2. That would mean that the context for God in 1.1 1, 1 is, is the Father. So it says, God, who at various times and in different ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. So the Father yeah. made the worlds through the Son, but your book says that Jehovah created the universe and all life. And Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24 says, Jehovah created all alone and by myself. So the Father and the Son together must both be Jehovah. Um, well, um, I think the scriptures make it clear Hello, I think we were cut off there. Yes, yes, sorry about that. That's um, all right. Yeah, so what I was saying, Robert, the, the, um, I think the scriptures are quite clear that um, Jesus and Jehovah are two separate people. Um, um, I, I, I'm not a modalist. I don't believe that Jesus is the Father. That's modalism. I'm not a modalist. Sure, sure. Um, I mean, I, I, to be honest, uh, Robert, I'll have to look into yeah. what you said, but my, uh, it's clear from the scriptures that you're absolutely right that the um, that Jehovah used uh, the word Jesus to create all other things. Um, the, the reference that you made with regards to Jehovah being all alone, I, I have to look into that. Sure. Uh, and maybe, maybe we could discuss that next time, but. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, often you'll find verses um, that maybe on the face of it, they seem to contradict, but with a little digging, uh, it becomes clear that um, th th there's no contradiction, uh, actually. Um, I was just thinking about the, the point that you made in the message about the blood uh, of the fractions. Uh, is that something... I was looking at that quite some time ago. Yes. Oh, OK, right. About right. a month ago. Um, I, I, I'm certainly happy to look at that chapter, but the next one would be Lesson 7. What is Jehovah like? 